I'm just kind of still trying to find kind of that ideal setup for me. Um, obviously, with content creation and gaming, sometimes a window manager's not ideal. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're definitely not. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still playing with it. I'm tr still trying to see ultimately what the best fit is. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of, I'm kind of actually debating going like Debian and then like DistroBox. Okay. Or something like that. I don't know. Cause I, I've, I've been thinking about, um, you know, the whole argument, um, that, uh, that uh, George was making about, you know, wanting to make sure that you have a stable box. And I mean, yes, that is true, but I also need to be able to hack on my system. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a tough thing to do with a, you know, a mutable distro sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know, it's, uh, it's something where I need to, I need to really kind of figure that out. But that's, that's what I've kind of been thinking about would be a potential way to do it. But I'm kind of, I'm also, I really like a lot of the things in Arch. Um, I like the bar pretty well too, but there's just there's some things in Fedora that kind of just irk me in some ways, and it's just kind of weird fedora. things. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, well, the Red Hat stuff has not helped much uh, at all, but uh, I don't know how much in, I don't think any impact on Fedora, but it just you know it's just one of those things where people are probably gonna kind of push away a little bit from some of their projects. I had so many people who just. Okay, every time I talk about Fedora, there's always people like, Fedora is controlled by Red Hat, it's controlled by IBM. Except in this one case, when I talk yeah. about, like, you know, Red Hat doing their thing, changing the source code, I had people being like, is Fedora going to be okay? Is Fedora fine? Like, <laughs> guys, did everybody forget that Fedora is a Red Hat project? Like, how did you all forget this all of a sudden? Like, the guy who runs it is a Red Hat engineer. A lot of the core developers are Red Hat engineers. Why did everyone forget this? I mean, it's literally the testing ground mm -hmm. for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I I could see people moving away from that. But yeah, I, I don't see any effect on the actual project itself. No, it's, it's um, going to be fine. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've talked so much about the Red Hat stuff this week already. Like it's. I understand. <laughs> like I've done two video. No, I've done three videos on it. I've done three videos on it. The third one's not out yet. I did the first one on Red Hat's original um, announcement. Second one on their response to their the, the criticism of their announcement. Third one is uh, going to be on the software freedom conservancy's uh, take on the whole situation, um, and they're not very happy about it. <laughs> Uh, as as you might expect, but they're not going so far as calling Red Hat spyware like they did with Ubuntu back in the day. I remember that <laughs> that was fun back when um Ubuntu had the Amazon shopping lens. Yeah, yeah, and they they were just I like I vaguely remember that. Yeah, spyware. Um, but I think their general stance was Red Hat is. Red Hat tries their their hardest to be a they to respect the GPL while acting as much like a proprietary company as possible. Like they they are as close to the line as they can possibly get. So mm -hmm. sometimes they make mistakes and shift slightly over that line. Mm-hmm. Well, and and I I made a video about it. I wasn't initially in intending to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I missed is some people were just like, well, why would you be using RHEL? And I just want to be like, uh, there yeah. are some places where you're going to need to use RHEL. Yep. So, uh, but, you know, I talked about that. And I think one of the one of the comments was something like, uh, anytime a publicly traded company gets involved and it, it just ruins everything. And I'm like, I, I kind of get the sentiment, but at the same time, it's one of those weird catch 22s with open source is you kind of have to have some of that business because at times, you know, it's really going to be difficult to actually keep certain projects going. Right. I mean, you know, that's why we have some of the distros we have because of, you know, companies putting money into them specifically mm -hmm. because of, you know, whatever product they want to make. So, I don't know. It's a, it's a really tricky thing. It's something where I think the situation is a lot more complex than most people seem to think it is. But yeah, it, it, definitely uh, not the not the move that I would have made. For anyone curious about the relationship between Fedora, Red Hat, and IBM, I clipped out the segment where Matthew Miller talked about that from, uh, I guess, like 
whatever, wh whenever Matthew was on the show, I think it was like two weeks ago. I'm very ahead in my uh, my backlog of shows, so I can't remember when things actually came out. But last week, as we're recording this, and his basic basic stance was the demands that Red Hat and IBM make are no different than what a shareholder would have made anyway. It's not like IBM is doing anything crazy to Red Hat. It's just they own the company and are making the same sort mm -hmm. of demands that any like publicly traded company would have if it wasn't just owned by some massive corporation. Absolutely. And I mean, yeah, and I I I don't know. It's one of those deals where like I say it's it's really a difficult thing that I think eventually we're going to have to figure something out because mm -hmm. I just don't see how some of the business model for open source continues the way it is. Um, I think you've brought up the uh, the guy who decided that he was no longer going to update his uh, left pad app. Yes, and, yes, left pad. And broke uh, broke half the sites on the internet. You know, yeah. I mean, there's stuff like that all the time where, you know, a big company will use it and not do anything with it or, mm -hmm. you know, the, or something like this. And I don't know. It's something we're going to have to figure out because it's, it's eventually going to be more necessary. 